guys, I'm kind of embarrassed because I've only just realized, I haven't made a few videos now with this uh, new video software I got, um, that uh, I can't actually have the whole screen in this. So I think I've done a few videos now where the um, videos have been kind of forced to be in uh, quite a tight frame. Um, so kind of dumb. Anyway, um, now that I understand that, I think uh, we're in a, a better a better position now, so that'll be useful. Anyway, so uh, something I wanted to uh, go over um, continues on from a previous video where I was talking about arrays and hash tables, and I wanted to just talk a bit more about arrays and um, removing objects from arrays, because previously we talked about creating an array and adding additional items to them. And now what I want to do is talk about subtracting items from them and also removing duplicates, which is a, a really handy little feature I've, I've found from various types of reporting. So once again, I'm going to create an array. And once again, I'm using uh, football teams from around the world. Now, I felt slightly self-conscious that I've done a couple of examples and it's just been European teams. And I felt a bit worried that it was becoming a bit Eurocentric. So I try to add a few more items into the array that are uh, from uh, from around the world. So we've got a Brazilian team, a uh, United States of America team, uh, Indian team, an Australian team, and a South African team. So hopefully a bit more of a uh, you know global outlook. And I hope that uh, any of any of you guys from outside of Europe are a bit happier with that. So let me create the array. And if I do a little check of the the variable, you can see that we got all of the teams in there. So that's great. And I'll do a little count. And we've got 11 teams in there. So fantastic. OK. Now, let's say that uh, we want to remove Juventus from the array that we have. Well, all I need to do again, and we've I've sort of shown before how, depending on the type of a variable that you have, you can play around with the various properties and methods. And as you can see here, we've got uh, properties, this little icon um, showing different, pro different properties, one I've just used, count. But you can also see these little sort of pink, purpley um, boxes, which represent methods. And so as the name kind of suggests, and anyone that's got a, a programming background will understand, these are sort of verbs that allow you to do something to the variable. And I, uh, a great example of, of one I've used before to show you guys is get type. So get type allows me to confirm I'm looking at an, an array as opposed to a string or an integer or a base 64 objects. We'll come back to that another time. So one thing I want to do here is I actually want to use a verb or a method rather called remove. And you can see here, I've got the code up here, but I want to remove specifically Juventus. So let's clear this away. Let's look at the array now. And you can now see that Juventus is actually missing from the list. I mean, if I do a quick count, we had 11 before, if I recall. And now we've got 10. And there you go. That's it. That's how to remove a, an item from your, uh, from your array. Now, let's just do a, a relevant but slightly different example. Um, I've got another array here, and this time you can see that I've really padded it out, and I've padded it out with some duplicates. We've got a couple of Juventuses, a couple of Bar Barcelonas, uh, a couple of Dempos. So if I run this array and show this to you guys, you can see that it's pretty clear we've got a few duplicates in there. And th this is a very common thing to see in, um, again, I, I, I feel like I'm always uh, talking about the enterprise. But to be honest, I mean, you will probably most be, mostly be using PowerShell in, in an enterprise type environment. Um, so we've got uh, this scenario where there is a, um, a whole list of items potentially exported from a spreadsheet. There might be lots of duplicates, etc. And you want to clean that out. You want to get just unique values in there. So if I do a quick count of what we have, I've got 15 items in there. OK, so just bear that number in mind. Um, I'm almost tempted to just put that in as a little reminder. We've got 15. So 
I'm going to use, I'm going to pipe the variable array to a select commandlet and the full uh, full view of that. Um, I was being a bit lazy just putting select, but select object is the full name of the commandlet. And I'm going to use the parameter of unique. And I'm going to basically say, I want you to only give me the unique values from this array. So if I run this, bam, you can suddenly see that I've got a very different looking list. And just in case anyone had any doubt, let me do a count of that. Ah, it says 15 again. So what's happened here? Well, the problem is this. My array hasn't changed. My array remains full of duplicates and 15s because this is my array from line two. So just selecting unique is not actually changing any properties. So what I need to do is actually create a new variable. And in this case, just to make things nice and easy, um, I'm calling this deduped array, as in deduplicated. And what I'm doing is I'm basically saying I want a variable that is my array piped through with just unique values. So if I run this and then look up deduped array, I've got a new variable that has a nice clean output. Now, another way that you might want to do this, pretty common for me, is keep your variables nice and consistent. I might just say array equals array piped to select unique. And that's just nice and clean for me because it means that my array variable, the name stays the same, but it's got a nice clean deduped list in there. Um, if I jump quickly back to using, uh, actually, I'll see if my variable is still alive. It is fantastic. Um, I'm just being lazy. I want to do a count of that. And you can see I've got 11 values now instead of the original 15 because it's cleaned out those duplicated values that I had in there. So hopefully that's of, uh, of use to you guys and, uh, and makes a nice bit of sense as to how to remove items from your arrays and how to uh, clear out any duplicates that you may have. Very common in an enterprise environment when working with raw data from spreadsheets and things like that. And um, keep your data nice and clean and, and uh, basically continue to work from there. So I hope that was helpful and leave any comments if you've got anything you'd like to ask.